tell me tell me about the essence of this series because you guys have to play a lot of cricket this year so uh, what what this meant to you this this especially this series because this indian team obviously not particularly this but world champions and you know playing against zimbabwe how, how do you see this happening and you played so much cricket in subcontinent especially in india uh, you know as part of the ipl what do you think about this yeah so it's a very important series for zimbabwe and and for the vision that we have um, as you know both Sides have picked a young squad, so clearly both sides, uh, both countries, is going through a transition phase. Uh, a lot more important for us in a way that uh, we want to make sure that uh, when the senior guys are done, the future of the country, future of the sport in this country is safe. So a lot of opportunity for a lot of the youngsters, and I'm excited for them, and they're excited as well. So yeah. certainly a very big series for us. And uh, again, India has been a very good friend to Zimbabwe, and they toured us every second year. So I think it's equally important for them as it is for us. So um, they, 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 they talked about the new coach that's come in. Yeah, um, what sort of methods have, has he come with uh, in as far as the last few days that you've been with him? Yeah, Justin worked with us a few years back, so we're really excited and proud that he's back uh, as a head coach now. Um, he's brought in some new methods as well, which are, which are sort of uh, replicate the modern day sort of cricket. So I'm really excited for him. I think it will be unfair uh, to sort of answer that in detail because he's only been here for four or five days, but I can already tell he's excited. He's got great methods along with Dion as well, and it will take some hours to forward for sure. Okay, Raz, uh, what is Zimbabwe, what are you looking to check out of this series? Um, hopefully win the series. Um, all teams have equal chance because I always say that irrespective of how many runs or wickets you have, once you go out of the park, you start from scratch, you start at zero. Of course, there's experience that counts as well, but you know, anytime you play a game, each team has a chance against any team. So, yeah, listen, uh, it will be nice, it will be great to win the series as well. Speaking of the, the youngsters, um, I know this year it's almost like a restart phase, and what a game to kind of start in that in India. Uh, what sort of your messaging across, because I guess you're now not just captain, but an elder statesman? get them prepared for the series of this magnitude. Uh, what have you been telling some of these young players? Yeah, so my first message and probably the most important message has been that the, the, the baton is always against a baton ball and never against uh, any particular individual. So if you can just stay in the moment and just trust our preparation with the baton ball and just stay in that battle, I think it will give us a better chance. Try and stay within uh, the 10 other colleagues that you have on the park because it's going to be a house full as well. So I think um, sometimes you Sometimes the crowd and household certainly plays a huge part as well. So um, I try, uh, I try and stay on the park with the boys, and that's the only message I have uh, given to my team: stay on the park with the boys, stay in the moment, and also the batter is always against the bat more than anything else. For me, uh, every time I put on a Zimbabwe jersey, it's very motivating. Um, I do not treat any nation with any less or more respect, personally that is. Um, so I respect India as much as I respect any other country as well, but it's, it's nice to have world champions in our, uh, in our home country. It's, it's a very proud moment for them as it is for us as well to be playing against the champions. Uh, second, uh, as you said about world champion, first part of the question is uh, your teammate Ashdeep is now a world champion. Any message for him? Because you do share a good camaraderie, as I see in the IPL. And the second part of the question is: Is there is there anything uh, you know any special uh, you know towards this series? Because you guys didn't qualify. You played really well in the qualifiers, but didn't uh, didn't get there in the, in the World Cup. So, is there any any more hunger there uh, as, as 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 compared to you know other part other part of the series that we have to do it and we have to qualify for the next World Cup? So to answer your first part, yes, I've, I've privately messaged Percy myself. Um, I'm not really big on uh, you know the social and the public sort of uh, messages. If I have your WhatsApp number, then I, I'd rather be in your WhatsApp than to come on TV and send messages. But I congratulated him for his performances, for the championship, for the wickets. Not just him, I know uncle and auntie were there as well. Yeah, they, yeah. They, they loved me and they looked after me really well as well. So I sent a private message to them as well. That is such a proud moment. For them as well to have their son as a world champion as well and to be the lead wicket taker. So I've done that privately with Arshi. I'm quite excited that Jitu is here as well. So yeah. Jitesh yes. arrived last night as well. So we spoke again. Okay. So yeah, listen, um, my teammates, uh, one is a world champion and the other one is here. So I'm, I'm quite happy to see them. 
what was the second part? Is there any more urge this time around because you guys didn't qualify for the World Cup? And so, yeah. when it comes to the urge, I think with a newer group of guys, I think it has to be there. Um, I'm a big believer of that the motivation has to come from within, the hunger, the desire, the battle, the fight. The, all these things are not coachable. Uh, coachable, it actually has to come from within. And I do think with a younger group of guys, it's already there. So, there wasn't much to say about that. I think they are very hungry and excited to go tomorrow. Thank you. Yes, Larry, go on. <laughs> okay. So uh, a, a, a question also around coaching. The, the, was the, some people from outside the dressing room was there. Stuart Matsikinier has been in there for so long. But from inside the dressing room, what does he bring to, to, to the dressing room? Yeah, so I think it was equally important to have sort of one sort of uh, um, an old sort of coach, as in the one who's been with us for some time as well, one to help the new coaches to settle in and, and give them some sort of an update on the boys as well. So Shooter has been very good. Um, I know, unfortunately, when the players do not do too well, the coaches take a lot of blame for that as well. But I always say that they don't go out and back for me. They don't go out and ball for me. So a lot of the blame, if anything, all of the blame has to be on me. We should also understand our cricket, how, what to do, what to get the best out of us. So yeah, it's nice to have Shooter uh, with the new coaching staff as well. It will help the new coaches a lot as well. Yes, one of the senior players are doing the team. What is it that they're saying to my head as you see this end? Uh, what are the objectives? If you had been here on time, you could have been here. Again, I'll repeat myself. The only thing I've, I've told them, or the couple of things that I've told them is uh, try and stay on the path of the ten of the boys. Control your emotions. The crowd plays a huge part. And of course, you're playing the world champion. And also, the battle on the path is always against the back of ball. It's never against a particular individual. So, Trust your plans, trust your skills, trust your preparation, and everything will look after itself. So. Okay, the last one. Okay, and uh, uh, is there any added pressure on you to do all in those in terms of uh, the leadership without uh, some of uh, the guys that you used to share the banner with? I don't think pressure is such a bad thing as we make it out to be. Um, so if there's any pressure, if there's any responsibility, then there's only one way to find out if I'm up for it or not, and that's the the only way I can do that is by going out there and, and, and doing what I have to do for the country. Um, I was having an interview with the Sony just a few minutes ago. Uh, apparently that my stats uh, are a lot better when I'm the leader of the team than when I was just a player. Uh, these are things that I wasn't aware of. But like I said, there's a time when I have to be the captain. There's a time when I'm just a baller and I'm just a batter. When I'm batting, I don't need to think that I'm the captain, I have to do X, Y, Z, I'm just a batter. If I do X, Y, Z, my team gets better. But if I'm a bowler, I don't have to think I'm the captain. I just have to bowl to the best of my ability, and if I do well, the rest of the things looks into, fall into place anyway. So yeah, listen, there's a lot of good quotes on, on pressure, and, and I personally don't think so, it's a bad thing. I mean, it's a pressure is a privilege of champions, so it's a, it's, a, it's a humbling thing that I'm in this position now. I think